Hello YouTube, today we are going to take a look at the Torque Pro app along with the OBD2 scanner that we have right here. So basically the Torque Pro app is an OBD2 performance and diagnostic tool that you use to monitor the health of your car. It allows you to connect your phone to your car and uh, view various uh, readings from the sensors of your car. It's a very, very handy way to keep an eye on the health of your car. So today I'm going to go ahead and uh, try it out. First, we're going to go ahead and uh, install the app. All right, so to install the app, you're going to launch the Play Store and then you're going to look it up Torque Pro. Just like this. And as you can see, this is the Torque Pro right here. Obviously, the pro version is paid, but you can also download the free version, which is a lot limited than the pro version. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the paid version. And I will purchase that. All right. Now the app is downloading. Installing and installed. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Allow, okay, allow. All right, so this is the UI as you can see here. And here you have your menu that you can scroll. This is the accelerator gauge, also moves as you shake the phone. And we're going to go ahead and uh, set it up. But first, let's go ahead and look at the module. So here is the module I went with because it's not too expensive. I believe it was under $14. Just a very simple OBD2 port connector, as you can see. transparent that's everything that comes with it along with a user manual So here is your menu and then you can go ahead and tap on real time information if you want to monitor the different uh, sensors in your car. And as you can see you have accelerator, the revolutions, you have the throttle data, speed, boost, the coolant temperature. You can swipe left and right as you can see for more pages. And most importantly, you can create your own pages. Basically, press and hold and add a display. And you can pick any style that you like. And then you can create your own display. So we're going to go ahead and use a dial. So you have a list of your sensors. So you can go ahead and select whichever one you want as you can see go home so real-time information is basically monitoring that's where you're going to be most of the time when driving and then you also have fault codes here you can go ahead and scan your vehicle for codes and uh, as you can see we're not connected to a car so it's not going to work you can clear the codes also from here so the next we have the map view, which is basically a map of your current location. This is very good for trip recording. Then we have test results. This one is uh, self-explanatory. This is basically where you're going to go and uh, 
uh, view the results of uh, various tests that you conducted on the car. Next we go back and then we have the graphing. Here you're going to choose readings and match them to different sensors so you can uh, display a graph of both at the same time. Let's say you want to see the behavior between your transmission and coolant temperatures. You can do that here with a graph so you can see a visual representation of how each sensor behaves. Your adapter status. We haven't connected the adapter yet, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just scroll through the settings. You have your Bluetooth, the connection to adapter, no communication yet. Adapter notes, basically a load of uh, settings. All right, and then we have your plugins. These are the plugins that are already installed, but you can go ahead and uh, download more. It's going to take you to the website and as you can see this is a list of uh, plugins that you can download. Many of them are paid. You can download them and even improve your uh, experience with the Talk Pro app. The last one is just help if you want more information about the Talk Pro app. The app also supports landscape. So you also have your settings button right here. We can go to settings. This is where you're going to have a lot of uh, settings to play with. Unit, plugins, themes. You can export and import custom codes. You can also do so with custom themes. You can create themes as well as download themes to uh, basically customize the look of the app. And then we have the vehicle profile. And as you can see, you can name the vehicle. You can enter the vehicle's information. It's gonna help the uh, reading get more accurate. So I'm basically setting this up because I really need to monitor my transmission temperature. For that, I had the ultra gauge, as you can see here, which I uh, really like because of the size and how uh, convenient it is. But unfortunately, I was not able to get the codes to display the live data of the transmission temperature. So I ended up giving up on it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a custom PID so I can have the readings of the transmission temperature. Manage PIDs and sensors. Tap the options and then you can add custom PID. Okay. And from here, you can go ahead and enter the PIDs that you found online for your car. All right, so just enter the PIDs, as you can see. And also the equation. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit test. All right, so I have to connect the OBD2 module to the car, connect it to the phone, and then we can do the test. First, I'm going to disconnect the ultra gauge. This is going to plug up right here. Alright, so from here we're going to save the PID data first. And as you can see, we have a list of the PIDs. As you add them, they will be listed here. You can import some. Add predefined set, import CSV file, connect to the module first. Let's go to settings, OBD2 adapter settings. All right, we have connection type. We're going to select Bluetooth. And then we're going to choose the Bluetooth device. As you can see, it's going to scan. Start the car. Go to the Bluetooth settings itself and manually scan for it. All right, here it works. We see the OBD2 Bluetooth and it's pairing. The code is usually 
four zeros or one two three four pair and then scan and as you can see now we have a new option OBD2 we're gonna select it and as you can see OBD2 selected we go to the settings vehicle profile let's go ahead and change this we're gonna give this profile the name so let's uh, name it RAV4 now we have the vehicle type and this is a SUV we have engine size it's a 2.5 liters we have total vehicle weight this is a 3600 pounds if I'm not mistaken and then the MPG all right let's just leave this and then save it all right so we have the accelerator right here let's press the accelerator and see all right it is uh, revving as you can see manage extra PIDs and then we're gonna select our transmission we're gonna select edit we will scroll down and click test and we have the results for the equation we have 72 degrees it looks like it is working so we're gonna close and then we're gonna do okay let's go to real-time information create a display so we're gonna add display all right and then we're gonna choose a large all right and then we will add another display a digital display and then it we can select the sensor all right i want the engine coolant small and then we're gonna add another display the same type of display and this time we're gonna choose the transmission fluid temperature and we're gonna use a small and we'll put it right here all right so we have the engine coolant the transmission we can add another digital display or I'm gonna use the engine load I will have it right here and then next I will add another display again a digital display the intake air temperature is small and we would put it right here I wonder if this is a uh, moving it says gps bearing but i don't know if it is moving but uh yeah here are the readings as you can see the coolant temperature is at 154 transmission at 104 this is my x tool so i'm going to use this to check how accurate this reading is so let's try it all right so as you can see here we have the coolant temperature at uh, 168 engine oil at 118 and the transmission at 119 so it increased a little bit that's just because of the time it took me to disconnect all the torque and set up the x2 you go to the settings vehicle settings and themes as you can see you can download and apply different types of themes to it you have all your readings your standard obd2 gauges along with custom pids that you can set up simple view the landscape is nice as you can see
I also upgraded my car's head unit to an Android head unit as you can see here I made a video about it and I will pin it on the top right if you want to check it out so I'm gonna go ahead and install the torque pro app on the head unit and see how uh, it works install it and here is the torque pro app all right so as you can see we have a 36 degrees day and here are the temperatures it's really nice to have it here i don't need a phone or any external devices on the dash i can just take a glance on the head unit right here Now I'm going to go through things that I believe can be improved on the Torque Pro app. I set the head unit up to display the coolant and transmission temperature along with the emission readiness monitor. When you try to add a display, which I think should be called a gauge instead of a display, you have the option to choose the style of the display and now here is the issue I mean if you have a million option here to choose from you're gonna have to scroll through all of them there is no option to search and as you can see it's quite a lot of options especially if you generated the preset custom PIDs as you can see I did here it would have been great if they had an option to just search they can add a search icon on top so you can tap what you're looking for and it pops right out so you can select it. manage extra PIDs so I was messing around on this page and I decided to generate the preset custom PIDs add predefined set I clicked it and now I have a bunch of uh, uh, PID settings that I don't even need as you can see most are for the Prius So the last one as you can see here transmission fluid temperature. That's the only one I made myself the rest I just generated automatically and Instead of making it possible to select all of them and deselect the one I need only so I can delete everything except the one I need you have to literally do it one by one press you can edit it or delete it you can't select nothing there is a clear list okay so are you sure you want to remove all PIDs so yeah you only have the option to remove everything at once or delete one by one which is just a limitation I think they can improve on alright so we're on a snowy day very cold So here is the little LED on the dongle. I don't know how much power this is drawing, but you definitely don't want to leave it for days. They should have made it in a way where when you turn off the car, it goes off after a few minutes. Instead, it stays on just like this. So I'm about to take it out for a drive again and see how the temperature rises. And also, customized a little bit as you can see I added a pedal gauge RPM gauge as well as the speed gauge that I'm trying to see if it's uh, accurate and responsive so let's go out for a drive and see all right
the speed keeps showing kilometers per hour for some reason. But we're gonna have to swap the gauge and pick one that displays miles per hour. Okay, I think that's miles per hour, not kilometers per hour. I don't know why they printed kilometers per hour. It's also a cold day, about 35 degrees, so the temperatures may look slightly colder. Yep, so as you can see, it's so handy running everything from the head unit. This way you don't have to use your phone for it. And when you start the car, you have all the readings handy. So this is my setup right now. I would keep adding more as I find uh, different gauges useful. I have the readiness monitor to the right and then a few gauges on the center and then the coolant and transmission temperatures right here. You can also download custom presets online and then you can go to layout settings and as you can see you can edit it, you can import a layout, you can export or reset it. If you like this current setup, you can go ahead and export layout. You can give it a name. And then it's going to be saved into your memory. And you can share that with other people. Or you can also import a layout that you downloaded uh, online, as you can see. Once you download one online, you have to put it in your Talk Pro folder. I think it's gonna be in your file explorer you're gonna have to go to Android if you're using Android and then you're gonna go to data and you're gonna look for the talk pro folder which is right here and then you go to file and as you can see this is where you're gonna save the dashboards which are the custom layouts and then you have your extended PIDs this is where your uh, custom made PIDs are going to be saved I also suggest backing up all of these just in case and you have your logs trip logs you have the vehicle profiles they will be saved in here and that's about it now let me know in the comment section what you want to see what you think about this setup if you have any questions drop it in the comment section as well thank you for watching guys see you on the next video